Hi. Welcome to uh, week seven of writing proposals and grants. You're, you're almost, I guess, halfway through the course. Um, you're knee deep, I think, in finishing your foundation fundraising strategic plans. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about those, so keep it coming and I hope uh, those are going well for you. This week, we're going to start putting everything together. So uh, you've already done research on your nonprofit. You've done research on your, your foundation. You've identified 10 top prospects. Now you're going to start writing a foundation proposal, and that brings it all together. So you're going to take what you know about your, found, your nonprofit, and you're going to match it to a foundation that funds things that that nonprofit does. And you're going to write a fantastic grant proposal. Now, um, this week, as you probably know, we're going to use groups and peer editing over the course of the next four weeks so that you write the best possible grant that you possibly can before you submit it to me for grading. So the class has been divided into two groups of five people each. You will be submitting three sections of the proposal to the forum this week. Next week, your forum, your group mates will be giving you peer edits and you will be able to incorporate, three, incorporate those edits into the next draft of your proposal. And you'll move on to writing four more sections of the proposal so that you have the final proposal together. It's a very important process. It gives you the experience of what it's like to write for nonprofits where you get uh, a lots of different feedback from different people that you need to use to advance the quality and the focus of the proposal. So, um, so again, everything you do this week, you're going to submit it on, on the form. I have given you the link to the assignments tab only so that you can read both the assignment instructions and the assignment rubric. It's really important that you read those rubrics before you start on your assignments because you'll know how I'm going to grade them and what I'm looking for you to focus on. So again, take a look at all of that, but post your assignment on the forum so that your classmates can read it. And please post it as an attachment because if you paste it as an inline text, it will be, make it difficult for you to get substantive comments from your classmates. So that's this week. Um, uh, again, if you have questions, things you need to know about, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any of them. Now, let me tell you a little bit about your grant. You are going to write a grant that's a project grant. So there's two kinds of grants. Actually, there's more than two kinds. But for the purposes of this discussion, there are operating grants and there are program grants. An operating grant is when you ask for money to continue to do whatever it is you're already doing. So it doesn't involve expanding anything. It's basically, this is what we do, give us money, help us keep doing it. A project grant means that you're asking for funds in order to expand what you're doing. So it means you're expanding by, say, adding more people. So you might be serving 100 people in the program and you want to expand to 200. Or you might decide that you're expanding into another neighborhood. Or you are uh, including more days of the week. So you are for the program on Tuesday. Now you're going to do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are program expansion grants. Now. There are many more of those grants than there are operating grants. That's part of why you're going to write a program grant. That is what most grants are. So that's what you need to do. So you need to take a look at a program and think of a way that you're going to expand it. You're going to have to make up some numbers because you don't work for most of the nonprofits and you can't go meet with the program people and the CEO and the finance department and kind of come up with exactly what you want to do. You're going to have to sort of make some of this up yourself and decide, okay, going from 100 to 200 is a good goal for this program. Don't get too hung up in those details um, because you want to focus on writing and making the best case. The last thing I want to say is uh, stick very closely to the requirements and the way I've told you to write the grant. Write it exactly as I have laid it out. Because one of the things you need to learn in writing for writing grant proposals and in particular government proposals later on is to follow the instructions very, very exactly. So in some instances, my instructions aren't going to match the foundation you've picked and that's okay. For the purposes of this class, you're following my instructions, okay? It's 15 pages, it's double-spaced, and here are the sections I want. Um, if your organization is actually going to submit this proposal and you're working on something that is, is an actual proposal that will be submitted, please let me know because we will change the 
order and requirements of the proposal so it matches. I, I would like, if it's a proposal that can be submitted, let's write it in a way it can be submitted. But that's the only exception to the format as I have laid it out. Lastly, don't try to game the system. So you can't add images. If you add images that don't advance your case, I'm going to say you're just trying to take up space and you don't want to write more words. Um, so 15 pages is 15 pages. It's not 12 pages with three pages of images. It's not 18 pages where you took the font down to nine points, okay? Follow the instructions exactly. And, um, and it's, it's a good case in point because that is what you need to do with foundations. So good luck. Uh, again, if you have questions, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, continuing our process together. Take care.